What's up, it's Bryce Edits here, and this will be my first tutorial on this channel. Um, I was editing my 2 clip edit, and I thought I should just make a tutorial uh, on that nice bright um, color correction. Um, so you want to open up Magic Bullet Looks, and uh, the first thing you want to do is, sorry, the computer's slow, um, add just saturation and just bring it up about 125 doesn't have to be if you don't make it too much just keep it simple it doesn't actually have to be added but it gives a little better effect um, next what you want to do is add lift gamma gain and just look at the map and just look what colors would be the best I can see a lot of um, orange-ish so I add like uh, not that it's crazy just maybe a little orange and maybe uh, so that's lift and maybe gamma you can add a little bluish or purplish I'll do bluish probably you see, that, see how that looks it's just maybe better maybe it doesn't look so good so yeah um, then gain you can just add some color Just mess around, you know. Uh, then, after that's done, you want to go to offset gamma uh, gain and just add kind of more like actual colors, maybe. For example, bluish, purplish color correction, whichever is yours. Just mess around with it. Um, maybe you can add more orange or. Um, Like I mean, this will still give effect. Like, if you just bring this more, um, you know, it's it's still gonna give effect. So don't worry about it. If it doesn't, then you know, just bring it darker. Um, maybe that's too dark. Um, yeah, looks good. And you know, just mess around. I mean, this looks good. I'm uh, just gonna maybe. Um, no, yeah, not good. yeah, looks good. Um, no, it doesn't. Sorry. It looks good now. Now, of course, you can do your crazy. Maybe uh, looking. You can really see a lot of blue, but I'm not gonna do that today. Next thing after that, you want to add curves. And I actually want to set it over here. I don't think it matters which position, but I think it's just it's it's what I'm used to. Now the first two you want to bring kind of down there, and if if it gets really dark, then just don't bring them too much. And the top two uh, you want to bring them up. And just leave the middle one in the middle. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically how it looks like. Now this would actually be I would. I would leave this color correction, but this is the bright color correction what I'm making, so um, yeah, I have to add other stuff. So next, you want to add exposure. Uh, bring it up. Just bring it up something like. Now, if if you're putting the same color correction for every clip, make sure you fix the exposures for every clip, because some clips clips you might not see at all, like totally. Uh, can't see anything um after that you can add spot exposure but i don't, i used to add that but i don't think it's the best um then grad exposure mm. and just add some and it's basically gonna add some to the top and of course i have some presets and i'm also gonna save this is a preset when i fin finish this color correction um next when you're done that we're gonna go to lens and vignette or I'm not sure how you pronounce it um and edge softness now vignette you wanna just leave it as it is or just maybe bring it out uh, a little if it's too much or um i'm gonna bring it out a little bit 
Uh, the edge softness you definitely want to bring out. It's not going to look good. Trust me. If it looks good on you, uh, on your clip, just on this picture, it's probably not going to look good on the rest. So it might, it might. But um, trust me, it's best to bring the softness out. Um. Um. You want the softness to touch about um, where is your score and stuff, you know. Uh, sorry, my computer is slow. I'm recording at the same time, you know. Uh, there we go. Um, next, we're going to add some anamorphic flare. If you don't know what that is, it is this effect. A lot of people use it. And they're color corrections, but um, you know what? I don't use it. Um whoa whoops, a little mistake there. I just don't feel like using it. Oh my god, my computer is slow. Sorry about that. Okay, we can go. We can add other effects, but this is kind of pretty much it. Like you can maybe fix your color correction. Um. Oh, sorry. Diffusion. You definitely want to add diffusion. Uh, the size you can keep it 30 um or higher. I wouldn't recommend going really high. Glow 100% or just leave it 50. Grade, um, I actually don't care. I'm not sure what that is fully. And then just set your color, maybe blue, if you want it. Like really bluish. And see, it doesn't look so bad. Or you want it really orange, maybe. Doesn't look bad either. Or purple. Mm, it looks pretty good. Um, if you add the size a little bigger. As you can see, well, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep it 30 and I'm gonna keep it white. I think it looks the best. Oh god, the computer is really slow. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I have other color corrections here. Now, save as if you don't know yet. Uh, save it as a preset. You want to go s file, save, look as, and just name it. That's pretty much it. That's your color correction over there. Now, of course, you don't need to use all of these effects, but if you want to copy me, that's fine. Fine with that. Press OK, and uh, boom, from that, from this to this. Let me, I mean, look at it different. It looks so nice. This has been Brace Edits, and a tutorial on a color correction and see you next time peace